A conservative group has launched an effort to uh, list and target professors that they disagree with, liberal professors uh, generally. Now they're either doing this in an attempt to silence them through intimidation or to potentially get them fired eventually by bringing negative press to them and the university uh, that has hired them, or perhaps they're just trying to sell some merchandise. We're going to try to break down in this video. The website accuses nearly 200 college professors of advancing leftist propaganda in the classroom and discriminating against conservative students. This is a quote from Professor Watchlist, the organizer. That's the website. We aim to post professors who have records of targeting students for their viewpoints, forcing students to adopt a certain perspective, and or abuse or harm students in any way for standing up for their beliefs. Now, if that was actually the case, we would be perfectly fine with this. And they say, that while we have a, uh, a way that students can tip us to uh, professors that we should be watching, we only include people on the watch list if uh, the news has covered what they've done. Uh, but they fucked up because I, thanks to you, ran TYT University, and so I came across a bunch of these conservative watchdog organizations that have BS sites that purport to be run by students but are not. Mm -hmm. They're set up by extremely old uh, white Republicans. And then they will just simply say, oh, someone said this guy uh, was talking about Marx in a way I didn't like, and they'll write up a little article about it. And now it's in the news. Yes. And so you can put them on professor watch list, and you can uh, try to have the, the, stu the t student's parents put uh, pressure on them to potentially be fired or to shut up. Um, and we have a little bit more. What I, inter what I think is most interesting is in that quote I just read you, it says, we want to post professors who have records of targeting students for their viewpoints. As you put, pe put people on a watch list for their viewpoints, it's it's Getting actually it's actually incredible because another thing that they do is they attack specific students who call for safe spaces. Mm -hmm. So um, they have certain you know activities that they encourage students, conservative students on campus to do. So for instance, have things like you know uh, an affirmative action, or I'm bake sorry, sale. bake sale. Yes. Um, and another thing, if students are interested in a safe space and it's become an issue that's been brought up on campus, they will host a safe space event mm -hmm. where they will then mock the students who show up. And they'll mock them um, by doing all sorts of things oh, yeah. like... Uh, set up a table with crayons, juice boxes, stuffed animals, and coloring books to show that safe spaces are for children. Yeah. And you demonstrate that by acting like a child. So let me, let me tell you what I think about all of this. Because the reality is I don't agree with safe spaces on college campuses. I think that uh, safe spaces actually undermine the entire purpose of being on a college campus. The, the only times that I really learned anything valuable in college, I'm going to keep it real, is when my preconceived notions were challenged. Mm -hmm. And those are the most uncomfortable moments in life because it requires you to reflect on what you've previously believed, look through evidence if you are a smart person and you actually want to become smart, smarter, um, and then, you know, concede defeat if, if that's what happened. Admit that you were wrong. And, and that's a humbling experience, but it's also an important experience in order to grow. We have to be confronted yeah. with ideas that are different from our own, ideas that make us uncomfortable. And so I haven't been very supportive of ultra liberal or progressive students who call for safe spaces. But Interestingly enough, now you have conservative students who are calling for safe spaces against professors yeah. who, who want to talk about discrimination, who want to talk about inequality, who want to talk about issues that make them uncomfortable. You want to know what's I, what I think is an actual problem on college campuses? Having lobbyists like the Koch brothers fund science programs which push the notion that climate change does not exist so their coal industry can continue to be profitable. I think that's more destructive than some bullshit about how a, 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 a I don't know, um, Chicano uh, studies professor is making you uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Like, okay, I got it. You don't like minorities. I got it. You want to be a hateful little shit? Then get the fuck off the college wow. campus, okay? Get the fuck off the college campus. <laughs> this is I not am, a safe space for you. It is not a safe space for you, whether whether <laughs> you are calling for, you know, liberal uh, safe spaces or for these conservative safe spaces. It's a college campus. Academic freedom is so incredibly important, yeah. okay? And so I don't want people to be banned from speaking at college campuses. There's a little bit of disagreement in our 
our network about that. But even if I find that person to be disgusting or deplorable, whether it's a, a former politician who had very questionable foreign policy and pushed for questionable foreign policy, or, or even someone who might just be a professional troll and for some reason gets called on college campuses to speak, yeah. I think they should be allowed to speak. Yeah. Um, Freedom of information, in, in my opinion, is way more important than people's hurt feelings. Yeah, I, I'm very glad that you rightly point out that what they want is for classrooms to be a, a safe space, a space where you're safe from having evidence presented to you when you don't agree with it. Right. They want to be able to raise their hand and say something crazy, and the, the person who has studied for a lifetime on this material is not supposed to correct them if they're wrong or present contrary evidence so that people can make up their own mind. They don't want that going on. Uh, which is, of course, important. Uh, I don't generally, when we say we're for or against safe spaces, I think that in practice that doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. Because safe spaces does not mean one thing. It's a term that's used by literally thousands of different people. There's no governing body which, which is saying this is what a safe space is. A safe space could be that a black student union is set up and they don't want white supremacists going in there and just distributing pamphlets or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a classroom where you're not allowed to talk about something controversial. It means such a broad range of different things that the concept is interesting, but I don't think it means one thing. And I will say in terms of like the banning speakers, banning speakers is one thing, but when you say you sh a school should have to pay an exorbitant amount of money to a con controversial speaker, and if they don't want to do that, that that's them being banned. That's not the same thing, of course. Mm -hmm. if, if that was the case, I could simply say, okay, pay me a million dollars. Oh, you won't? I'm being banned. This is censorship. There's no reason why a university should have to pay $100,000 no. to some little shit to come in to speak for an hour. I, I completely... Now, if they want to come for free or for yes. a reasonable amount yes. of money, and if you block them then, then yes, that is banning them or censorship or whatever. That I completely agree with. And, and the one final thing I want to say is... No ideology, no political ideology gets to have a monopoly on education. Yeah. So just because you are a liberal student or just because you are a conservative student doesn't mean that you get to call the shots. Doesn't mean that everything that gets talked about in that campus has to reinforce what you believe and what makes you comfortable, okay? Um, education is supposed to be available, attainable, accessible for everyone, regardless of what their ideological standpoints are. Yeah. So I am completely against wh what's happening on college campuses right now. We need to promote dialogue so we don't continue dividing the country further. That's yeah. part of the problem right now. We're not talking to each other. We're just, you know, tuning each other out and pretending like the, the opposition doesn't exist. Yeah.